So, have you ever thought about turning your trading strategy into a forex robot? And you probably were thinking if there was a way of automating your trading strategy. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. And the good thing is you don't need to pay anybody and you don't need to have any programming or coding skills. You know, uh, sometimes people struggle, struggle with maths and programming and uh, things like that. So you can basically just uh, use platforms that are available online. I'm going to show you the free platform. You are not going to need to pay anything unless you need to. But again, I'm going to show you how I actually turn my own trading strategies into Forex robots. No paying anybody and no coding skills involved. Okay. So, um, if I'm speaking too fast, I do apologize. I'm trying to keep this video short and to the point. I don't want you guys to stop watching the video because it's too long. So if I'm speaking too fast, please rewind the video, watch the part again. Then uh, you, you get the sense. These things are so simple to do, uh, really. By the way, if you're looking for a Forex uh, trading broker, a reliable one, a good one, see the links that I have in the description box below. Okay, so what we're looking at on my screen here is a common strategy uh, that I also used uh, back in the day. It's based on the stochastic indicator. Who remembers using the stochastics to trade? Uh, Again, this is just to show you how easy it is to turn your strategy into a forex robot. I might uh, share the robot, uh, but uh, I'll, I'll see. So, I no longer do trade with st stochastics, uh, but back in the day, I also used uh, stochastics. Uh, you know, we, uh, we, we, we all started uh, somewhere. So, uh, the stochastic uh, strategy is based on uh, this. Uh, you want this stochastic band which is set at 533 I think that's the default setting and it needs to cross above the 20 level for a buy in this strategy however they've combined uh, the moving average maybe we'll do that in the next video in this video I'm just trying to show you only using the stochastic and then for the sales we would look for when the bands cross uh, down from the 80 so they've got an 80 level and a 20 level there so this will be what this will be a sales so that will be the gist of uh, the stochastic strategy as you are seeing in this never never use the stochastic indicator alone I'm just simplifying things for the purposes of this video because I'm trying to make this video uh, as short as possible. But you don't want to use the stochastic as an indicator by itself. You will lose money. That's what I discovered. So you need to use it with a combination of other indicators. For example, in this scenario, they are also using the moving average. Okay, so how do we just create a stochastic a stochastic uh, based uh, forex robots uh, maybe in the next video we'll do uh, with this to uh, this double combination how do we do that so first of all we are going to go to the platform that I use to create free forex robots which is called FX dreamer you just need to uh, to Google FX dreamer FX dreamer you just need to Google that I'm not in any way associated with them I'm not affiliated with them. Uh, they don't pay me money. It's just a platform that I use. So I thought, let me just uh, share how I use it with you guys as well. So if you have any queries or anything uh, as aside from what I'll be showing you from the videos, you can contact them directly. I, I don't even know the people behind uh, this platform. Okay. So you are going to go go FX Dreamer and you are going to come to this uh, page here. They are, that's their home page. And what you're going to find is an example Forex uh, robot here as well as a block here with some information. Uh, just right click on it and delete. I'd already uh, uh, removed uh, that example robot. And the robot you just highlight everything. Then you right click on a block and you delete. 
and you also start with a blank space like me uh, what I'm going to do also is I'm just going to come here and uh, click here by the way you can make MetaTrader 5 MetaTrader 4 Forex robots with this platform for MetaTrader 5 though you need to subscribe for MetaTrader 4 it's free I think it's free and up to 10 blocks if you use 10 blocks uh, in your robot it's still free if you want to make a more complex robot even on MetaTrader 4 you need to subscribe but MetaTrader 5 is uh, subscription based uh, the, the money is not uh, that much uh, especially if you're going to make a robot that is going to make you money or a robot that you're going to sell to somebody so yeah uh, think about that but what you're going to do now is we're going to maximize our screen so you come here and you click where it says try it full size and it's going to maximize our screen uh, like so so let's start so the first thing that I do is I'll come to this section that says check trades and orders count and I click there then I'm going to pick this block that says no trade what does this block do I'm telling the robot before it opens any trades to first check that it doesn't have any currently opened or running trades that it has placed because I don't want my robot to open a thousand trades on my account and blow my account so I want it to only open one trade so first of all it must check that it doesn't have an open a trade then after that I'm going to tell my robot to do this once a what I'm going to give it the instructions that I'm going to give it as you can see building a robot with this platform is just a matter of what dragging and dropping blocks that's all that you need to do with this uh, with this platform I'll show you another platform that I also use for trade for creating trading robots again for free so you just need to drag and drop your uh, your blocks in there so I'm telling the robot first make sure that you are not trading already and second thing the uh, only do this once per bar i don't want you to like uh look uh, for a, f a thousand signal on one candlestick uh only perform these instructions on one candlestick because i don't want to blow my account then after this i'm going to give the robot my my conditions now so i'm going to come to this section that says condition formula so the purpose of this video is just to make it so easy that you can even do this by yourself even a grade four child a grade one child can do this by following this video so i'm not going to go into this section constants and variables uh, sometimes people uh, start getting confused there eh? i'm going to keep things straightforward so i'm going to again link the blocks like that and i'm going to double click this time i'm going to double click on condition so double click and I'll have this block now it says indicator you can choose a lot of stuff but we want it on indicator so because we are using stochastic and stochastic is what an indicator so I'm going to say uh, we want now our stochastic so I'm going to come where it says moving average and I'm going to click and look for stochastic you can see there's a lot of indicators that you can use here so I'm going to come here and say stochastic oscillator and it's using the default uh, uh, stochastic values which are also being used here so okay that's fine then we say moving averaging and mainline we don't stress about that don't stress about a year as yet uh, don't worry about that um, don't worry about this uh, yet we're going to keep things as uh, simple now we want when the stochastic the stochastic crosses above so you saw uh, this symbol so there are various symbols remember the uh, symbols that we're using in mathematics they are also coming in here so we were going to use this one with an x it says crosses above there are others that says is above but we don't want is above because if we use if up is above it means it's going to continue trading in this zone here as long as the stochastic band is above this value we don't want that we only want the crossover so 
we are going to come here and we say when it crosses above and now here we are going to come and give it the value so you go and choose a value you, there's a lot of options here we're going to choose a value then we're going to um, keep it numeric and we're going to say when it crosses over the 20 line the 20 line that's for buys for sales it's 80 and when it crosses above the 20 line we want it to buy so we say update then we're going to come to this section that says buy sell here we're going to drag this block that says buy now and we're going to put it there and we're going to link it so we're going to we're telling the robot don't open multiple trades look for these conditions once per bar if it if it existing on that bar then buy then i'm going to double click again then i'm going to say i'm going to use volume i'm going to use a 0 0.1 or you can use a 0 0.01 uh, depending on the minimum allowed by your broker remember we don't want to give these uh, robots uh, too much uh, money to play with otherwise they might blow our accounts so i usually prefer just to give it the minimum lot size allowed by the broker again if you're looking for a reliable good broker see the links in the description box below then here we can set our stop loss and we're going to use pips I, uh, as we go i'll go into most of these but i'm just going to show you simple how you can do this without stressing too much then uh, we're going to say uh, stop loss i think the textbook one is 30 pips you can use whatever you want for now, for now let's just use the the textbook one which is 30 pips then take profit maybe let's have a one is to two so we say text take profit is uh, 60 pips and we're going to update our, our robot is done uh, that's a buying robot but we also want the robot to sell so i'm just going to uh, take a shortcut you can you can do what we did with the buy i'm going to take the shortcut i'm going to just right click this condition bar i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to say copy and i'm going to right click again and say paste i'm just taking a shortcut but you could have also come back here then i'm going to link it again like so this is for the sale then I'm going to double click to go in there. This time round, I'm going to say when the stochastic bands cross below. I'm going to choose cross below. And I'm going to choose now 80. Remember what's happening with our strategy. When it crosses below the 80, that's how we want it to sell. And I'm going to just say update. Then I'm going to come here and take this bar that's a block, sorry, that says sell now. And I'm going to go in, link it like that. And I'm going to double click. And I'm going to again change a volume. And I'm going to make it the textbook uh, stop loss. And I'm just going to have a one to two, and one is to two uh, take profit. And I'm going to say update as simple as that this is a six blocks we have used six blocks uh, remember if you're going to use the free account i think your blocks must not be more than 11 so that's six blocks so we are still fine and then after that we are going to come here where it says fx streamer so here now you can actually what you can change the name of your robot and you give it a fancy name uh gold killer gold killer imagine and you say done after that now you can come now and download your robot how do you download your forex robot you can use this button this dot ex4 button when you click on it it's going to download your executable file uh, especially if you're going to give somebody your forex robot you don't want them to know the the juice and the recipe behind it you just want to give them the robot or you can download the .mq4 file, uh, which is the source code of what of this robot. So this is how you what you actually turn 
uh, your strategy into a forex robot a simple stochastic uh, trading what strategy turned into a simple stochastic trading robot uh, i'm not saying this robot is profitable uh, i'm just showing you how easy it is so yeah if you have a strategy uh, that you want to turn into a forex robot it's very easy to do with some of these uh, platforms and you can do it for free without any programming skills whatsoever so yeah i'll just come here and say download and i'll be done i'll see you in the next video